Hello, and we're back, and we're doing a wrap-up of our 4P32 lesson, um, recognizing that light travels in a straight line until it strikes an object or travels from one e medium to another, and that light can be ref reflected, refracted, and absorbed. And we're in video number three. We just discussed very briefly refracted light and, um, and did that with the, the cup and water, and we also did it with several of the, or with one of the prisms, and we have several with the laser kit that we sent. And we're also going to talk a little bit more about light being reflected with the mirrors that we sent. And one other thing that I, I wanted to add that you could do with this setup, uh, with the box and the, and the laser ray and the, the mirrors, is you could have a little assessment um, where you maybe set up a piece of paper in the box and ask them to be able to set up a way where the light reflects off the mirrors and hits that paper that you have set up in a box. And so you can manipulate those to make it harder for your students to add a little differentiation um, while they still need to explain in writing how that light is being reflected to hit that spot. So the, hopefully through this they're, they're learning that light does travel in, in straight ways or straight lines, um, but when it hits different mediums things do change, the light does change um, in how the speed of the light is traveling, making it look like it's being bent. And then the last thing that we could also talk about, which was one of the, the Page Keeley probes, is that everything is um, does reflect light. Uh, the only time when you see that um, something is black that is absorbing all of the light, and so that's why we see it as black. And that's um, explained in some of the Paige Keeley probes a little bit better. And then um, you, we will also put a, a rubric that you could follow on the on our Haiku page for this uh, for the standard. And also one other wrap up too to to just discuss with you is making sure that your students are safe with these lasers. Um, if they did point them at each other's eyes, they they would be okay. Um, but that's not something we would want um, students to be exposed to too long. And so you would need to have a talk with your students before you use these lasers in the classroom. And that's why I kind of like this. I just found this box literally off to the side in this uh, room uh, before we started this presentation and incorporated it with it. And I really like how the setup is um, that you have it contained and it keeps your materials in here as well and the students can work on manipulating it in this box. So just to show a couple other prisms. And originally on, I think in, in, uh, in the second video, we, we had some pretty neat, um, I turned on to the five, uh, five rays and, and there's some pretty cool light shows that you can do. And um, this is something that can be a little extra. Maybe you want to wait to, to share with the students uh, about the five rays and maybe work on that single ray at, in the beginning. But there's definitely a lot of neat things that they can do. One other thing that, that we talk about um, here is the, we have an empty, en empty prism that is in here. Um, and you can fill it up with water or maybe with some other other uh, liquids and see if that changes the way that the refraction works with uh, with some of the, the liquids that you put into that. So there's a lot of opportunities to do some really neat things with this kit, um, but uh, please make sure you stick to our standard as well, uh, making sure that's covered before you get into some extension activities. And uh, we appreciate your time and we'll have some discussion uh, during our, our open time when we are making this live. Thank you.